In the Lesson 1.7 example, How Many Pets?, we're going to calculate and interpret the standard deviation of a data set. Nine children were asked how many pets they had. Here are their responses, ordered from lowest to highest, and a dot plot of the data. We're going to calculate and interpret the standard deviation in the context of the problem. So one child had just one pet, and one child had nine pets. That's a lot. What we're going to do is since the standard deviation is based on the mean, standard deviation is short for standard deviation from the mean, the first thing we're going to do is calculate the mean. And so we're just going to add up the nine values and divide by nine. That gives us an average of five pets per child. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a table with all the values in it and we're going to find and square how different each of these values is from that mean of five pets. So the value of one is four away from the mean. It's four below the mean. So the difference between one and five is negative four. We're going to do that with all of the values and we're going to obtain this. Negative four for 1, 3 is negative 2, it's 2 below 5, these are all 1 below 5, this one is not any different from 5, and then these three are above 5. And then we're going to take those differences from the mean, those deviations, and square them. So the negative 4 becomes 16, the negative 2 becomes 4, 1 squared, all of these become 1's, and so on and so on. Then we're going to add those squared deviations to obtain 52. We're going to use this 52 in the calculation of the standard deviation. We're going to take the sum of the squared deviations and we're going to place it in the numerator of a fraction. We're going to divide that fraction by n minus 1, the number of values in the data set minus 1. In this case there are nine children, so we're going to divide by eight. And we'll take the square root of that resulting value to return to the original units. Because that 52 is a squared value, we want to return to the original value of pets. So taking the square root of 52 divided by nine minus one gives us about 2.55 pets. Now I know you can't have 0.55 of a pet. This is a typical difference from the mean. So the number of pets owned by these children typically varies around uh, 2.55 pets around the mean of 5 pets. If you'd like to try a problem like this in your textbook, you can try exercise 9.